Okay, so I'm gonna assume we're live. Welcome back to ESA Winter 2021. We're raising money for Alzheimer Fonden. Links to donate can be found below the stream. We would also like to thank Koei Tecmo Europe, who have released their new game, Neo 2, the complete edition, Twitch, and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. And now the time has come. I've just mentioned the game. We they have sponsored this event. It's gonna be incredibly amazing. It's time for Axel Sango to run Neo 2, the complete edition. <laughs> Deja vu. I'm Paul Lister. I'll be reading your donations th throughout this run. But until I do, take it away, Axel. All right. So welcome, everyone. I'm Axel. And this is Neo 2, the complete edition. Yes, on PC. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, all my missions with DLCs, Featherless, uh, which basically means that we're going to go through all the main story, uh, including the DLCs. And we're not going to use something that we call feathers, which are a type of uh, ninjutsu spells that are really, really powerful. And if used in a certain way, they basically just melt bosses really, really easy. So that's why Featherless was born. So we're going to do that. Let's start the new game. Uh, I, I will say when the timer starts, uh, we have to skip a, a few cutscenes. And then we'll uh, make uh, a new character. In this case, I'll just load my character, one that I like to play with. And yeah. Uh, there's a lot to explain in the run. Uh, there's also a lot of RNG in the run. Uh, in a good run, you might have like a. I mean, I, I haven't gotten there yet because the game is so new and I'm still up, updating my strats and optimizing things. I have to reroute them in the run uh, like less than a month ago uh, because of new patch. Uh, you know, stuff like that. There's a lot of things. Uh, but yeah, because of that, in a really, really good run, you could get like a sub-230 even uh, RTA. Uh, but in a really bad run, or, you know, on a bad run, I could get a like, around three. On a, If I really, really mess up, then I could get past it. But we should not get to that point. So yeah, uh, three, two, one. Let's go. Start. So we have like about 23 seconds uh, on my on my PC. It's 23. If you have a faster PC with a SSD and whatnot, it might be uh, slower. I mean, uh, faster or not. Uh, but yeah, after 23 seconds, in my case, we'll actually start uh, moving. And uh, right in this screen right here, uh, we're going to select uh, our two starting weapons, which is going to be the sword and the axe. Sword is for movement on low stance. Uh, there's a faster way to go through the game um, and to, to, to move around rather than like a low stance dashing with a sword. But it's very convoluted and it doesn't really pay off that much, so we're not going to really use it. And then we're going to pick up, the, as I did right there, uh, the, the brute spirit, or you know, brute uh, Jokai shift uh, with a. Uh, with the fire spirit um and then we're gonna be uh, dive into the first mission in just about 10 seconds or less uh the reason why we pick up the or i pick up the <laughs> uh the brute uh yokai shift is because uh the burst counter it's really useful for especially at the start of the game to set up some uh strats against uh, not the boss on this mission but the, uh, the one on the on the following one, and then uh, against uh, some human bosses as well, which is very useful. So I removed the, uh, right there, I removed the uh, gauntlets or the bracelets um, because I want to be uh, below a certain weight, which is 30%, uh, in order to be on maximum agility. And here we're gonna fight our first enemy, which is the Anki. And we're gonna just break his horn and remove his key. So he gets down and we can punish it more. We're gonna use the axe with a high stance. Because he has a lot of uh, uh, damage and key damage. And there we go. And the reason why we we fight this Enki is because he has a guaranteed 100% drop of uh, the Enki Soul Core. And it's gonna be useful on some on some parts of the run. So we're gonna equip it right now. It is not 100% needed, uh, 
but it really makes uh, things more consistent and you know in a, in a marathon sense of course you're gonna use it uh when things get more optimized we might uh stop using it but uh you know it's it's quite early still uh oh okay <laughs> So yeah, that's the burst counter of the uh, brute. I, I got a bit too close with uh, um, without enough key to, to that Jokai spawning, so it kind of pushed me. Okay, so we're gonna regen their key right here. Now we enter the dark realm, which uh, prevents our key from regenerating as fast, and we're gonna pick up this uh, key right here, which is what we need to progress to the boss. So basically, when, when I'm in the uh, uh, dark room, I want to avoid as much as possible uh, to have to uh, wait for the key to get back. Now we're going to fight uh, Mizuki. Mizuki is a Jokai uh, that is like a horse. And we're going to avoid with the Enki Soul Core that attack. Do some high stance attacks. Okay, that's, uh, I waited a bit too much right there. So we do not have any skills at the bo uh, at this point, so we're gonna have to just uh, use high stance attacks with the high stance and strong attacks with the axe in order to deal the most uh, damage and key damage possible. Yeah, and key to avoid some attacks is really useful. And now he's down and he's low on HP, so I'm gonna do this right here, and hopefully this should be enough. Yeah. Okay. So with that, you skip the 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 finishing animation of uh, of that boss, which is if you drop him to zero uh, HP, you will get the prompt to do another grapple. Uh, but this time, it will transform into uh, yokai and uh, do the grapple. So it takes longer. So we just skip that because uh, um, we bring it down to zero uh, with. Um, uh, with a regular grapple instead. Uh, so yeah, that, like I said, uh, it's a lot of explaining. Uh, so I did some menuing. Basically, I changed uh, um, some the position of my sword and uh, the axis. That's just, just a prefer uh, personal preference. I like to have the sword on the top and the, and the other weapon, in this case, the axe in the, in the second slot. And we're gonna equip the Mizuki Soul Core, which we got from defeating the boss. It's gonna be useful as well, especially at the start. Later on as well a bit. Uh, we are gonna enter the second mission. Uh, we're gonna need to fight um, another regular enemy. Uh, it's gonna be a quite strong yokai called Ipon Datara, which only has one leg and uh, uses a hammer, a big hammer. It's very dangerous, so we're gonna uh, make sure to not be too risky. Um, Fun fact about the, the the this fight right here is that there's like around a 40% chance of the Pondatara dropping a, a soul core, like his soul core. Uh, and I will actually uh, at least try to reroute the, ga uh, the game with that in mind, but since it's a 40%, it, it's not marathon safety, so I never really rerouted it uh, up until this point because I wanted to prepare for this. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we get that or not. Okay, so we're gonna start the same way as we started with the other one. By getting rid to, to the start of the starting uh, yokai pool right there. Okay, it's not giving me very good RNG, but not terrible either. Okay, there we go. Now he has no key, so I can uh, stun lock him a little bit by attacking. And another one, and GG. That's the, the fight. Oh, the forty percent, nice. So, you know, once I once I optimize the route, I would be I would use that. But I have not routed that yet because it's so new. And I wanted to prepare for this, as I said. Uh, okay, so we have some time now. If you have any messages. Indeed, I do. We have a five dollar donation from Arthorius saying, oh. "Good luck, ayaya." Ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's not going to any donation incentives. Uh, may I remind everyone, any donation you donate for uh, Alzheimer Fonden can be dedicated to a donation incentive. We have the Take the Stairs incentive from the FF7 Remake, 
which still needs about $120. And we also have the Wacky World of Miniature Golf bonus game, which still has about $3,500 to go to be met. So whatever you donate, make sure you put it on an incentive so we can have all of those amazing extras met and seen on stream. Back to you, Axel. All right. So we're entering a uh, um, sometimes quite a sketchy part of the run. Uh, I've had uh, some bad luck recently with this part, so hopefully it won't be an issue. But we gotta get a key and uh, also some uh, uh, some magic locks in order to get some magic, because uh, otherwise, uh, without magic, uh, it's it's a bit too slow. <laughs> you know, we will be fast. Okay. So in the past, I, I died when dropping from that place uh, because the, the Gaki that uh, spawned right there just comboed me to death, like three hits in the air, it was insane. But you know, we didn't have that bad luck. We're gonna level up to 10 magic. Uh, that will give us not only a bit more powerful magic, but also uh, the ability to uh, acquire more magic uh, overall. We also got Flux 2, uh, no, Flux 1, yes, Flux 1, uh, Purity Talisman, or Purification Talisman, rather. Uh, Heaven and Earth for the Axe, and uh, what is it called? Um, something in the Jokai uh, shift, on the Shifling Tree. Uh, on the Shifling Tree, I'll explain a bit more later. But yeah, basically, uh, this is, uh, Flux is going to be really useful. You're going to see a bit of it right now. But first of all, uh, let's get here, do some of that. First counter here, and this. Yeah, sorry, it's gonna be really hard to comment on everything. But because of... Uh, there's there's a lot going on in, in like little time. But yeah, basically I set it up so I, I did some confusion on, on an Enra. Right there, again. Uh, the first counter of from the... Uh, From the birds, uh, <laughs> from the from the brute, uh, from the brute, uh, Jokai shift allowed me to to break the uh, the water, and it set up the fight uh, way, very nicely. So we we deal more damage. So yeah, that's the end of the first uh, boss. Also, that wasn't smoke. Uh, that was a steam from the steam clamps we, we were having. Pretty nice. <laughs> but yeah, and Enra was uh, is basically a, a yokai. Sorry, I'm not as good with the lore as Gala, but uh, it's it's a yokai that manipulates uh, steam and uh, smoke, apparently. But yeah, that's uh, that's an Enra. Uh, it actually went very good. Uh, the the starting part with the um, you know doing heaven and earth and. Uh, Countering that pillar in order to get the water and then the Mizuki Soulcore, which I didn't explain. Mizuki Soulcore basically like knocked him down while dealing a lot of damage. It was really good. That's the in a standard start of the fight, and then he happened to be right next to another pillar, so that it sped up the fight even more. Okay, so we're gonna menu here just a moment because uh, those messages pop up, so we want to get rid of them. And right here, we're gonna get uh, right there. Travel amulet. It's gonna be useful, uh, especially later on on the on, well on the last main mission of the DLC. It's gonna be useful. We're gonna use two of them, and then on the um, on one mission of the of the main game, more or less in the middle, we're gonna use another one. But yeah, right here we're doing a shortcut, drop, roll, and before you get poisoned, get out of there. It's a really neat shortcut. Also, hope you guys, uh, you guys like some uh, very passionate uh, snakes. They are very, very passionate, uh, and they give you like super strong hugs. Um, you might not really try them, but yeah. Anyways, so we see that snake over there behind me, and now we're gonna fight the snake daddy called Yatsuno Kami. We're gonna start by going to the right, doing heaven and earth, dodge, attack once and see what he does. He likes to do that. 
and then uh, just wait for another attack right there. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the actual strat. Mizuki, no, not Mizuki, uh, Enki, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're gonna grapple, buff again, get in there, cover on earth, Mizuki, take out both of the, the snakes. Get rid of his key. Grapple again. Okay. I'm gonna use Mizuki again. Just for extra damage. Okay. So we're gonna do a technique right here. Which is very cool. We grapple, we activate Jokai Shift. And we grapple again with Jokai Shift, and now he's dead. <laughs> it's a it's a neat trick that you can only do with this boss, as far as uh, we know. It's pretty nice. So we got the Soul Core. We need the Soul Core from him, from the from Jatsuno Kami. It's really useful. And that's the end of the of the first region. Uh, we're gonna do some dojos uh, after moving to the next region, so we have a bit of time. You want to explain anything? Well, I can uh, take a moment here and talk about Alzheimer Fonden, uh, the charity we're raising money towards throughout this entire event. Alzheimer Fonden is the Swedish national fundraising organization focusing on Alzheimer's disease and other dementia-related diseases. Alzheimer Fonden's aim and purpose is to increase fundraising to the benefit of scientific research in order to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. So far, we have raised, my friends, $35,445, and we can keep raising money thanks to your help. Don't forget, if you manage to raise a total of $25 or $35 throughout this event, you're getting in the draw for a View Sonic Monitor. There is two up for grabs, and they could be yours. So get those donations in if you want to perhaps upgrade your setup for the low, low price of $25 to $35. Axel, back to you. Okay. So right now we're at the uh, Nobis Dojo of uh, Warrior, which is uh, quite necessary in order to get uh, certain skills that we're going to use. Uh, so, you know, it, it's kind of it's kind of very necessary for the run. It's very fast to do. It takes like a 30 seconds uh, when you are in the in the mission. And then we're gonna do some, uh, like the magic dojo, the first one. We're gonna do a second one later in the run, uh, but we will not have uh, enough proficiency to do the second one uh, until, you know, we are about 30% into the run, 40, something. So yeah, it's gonna be the, uh, the last dojo for a while. So we get some skill points, we're gonna get purity again. I didn't explain what purity does. Purity basically doesn't deal uh, like damage with the da uh, with the magic, but it applies a debuff, uh, which is purification or purity, <laughs> and uh, that will make it so uh, bosses not not bosses enemies uh, get more key damage. Okay, I'm gonna avoid that attack because he's always memeing me at the start. Okay, give me... No, that's a bad one. He likes to meme. Oh, get away from that. That's a paralysis. Yes, very cool. So as you can see, uh, Gaki doesn't like to be nice. Sometimes he's nice and I can actually be fast. But, you know, it's very, very RNG heavy fight. Okay. So that's the end of the... Of, of this dojo section uh on the next uh, mission i'm gonna you know level up a bit and get flux to which i didn't explain what flux does basically flux is uh, when you keep pulse and you switch stances uh, while you're doing that you regain more key so if you do flux to which is changing uh to more than uh than one other stance you can you gain even more key so it's even more uh, useful. Uh, so we're, you're gonna see it on this uh, on this boss fight in this mission. It's gonna be really nice, I assure you.
you're gonna see how useful it is. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know why that uh, happened, but okay. We're gonna backflip with this guy right here, and then he's so amazed that he just lets us through. It's very nice. All right. So we're gonna just dash around this place. Uh, I also picked up the uh, lantern fruit, which I used before as well. Uh, it basically gives you anima, which is what you need in order to do burst counters and yokai skills. Uh, also, in the snake fight, before before the uh, get into the snake fight, I I pet a cat called the Scampus. Uh, those uh, not only give you uh, anima uh, with time, gives you a, like a buff that gives you anima. They also attack enemies and do quite a bit of decent key damage. So they are very very useful in some parts of the game. So we're gonna get to nine constitution and six skill, uh, mainly because we want a bit more HP on some parts of the of the run, and also we. Uh, we want to use a certain set. Okay. So I'll explain in a moment what I got right there. I got water talisman, more purification talisman, uh, fire and lightning. Uh, those are going to be useful later. But uh, we're going to use water right here in this boss. I also got uh, uh, flux too, as I explained before. We're going to get this travel amulet. Really nice. And I got. Uh, Keep pulse when dodging on low stance is gonna be uh, really useful on some parts. So we're gonna work with water right here because otherwise we, we get uh, struck down by lining on this place, and we we get some uh, match lock in order to do the strat of this uh, this boss fight. We're gonna shoot him in the head, dash to him, do some attack. Then we're gonna do this right here. Burst counter, attack him. Final blow, heaven and earth. Do some flux to punish him. More heaven and earth. Flux to. And GG, that's him, Magawa. He's normally not much of an issue at all. Sometimes he, he likes to meme a little bit, but uh, strat is actually very, very good at this point. So, yeah. Okay, so we are starting to equip the Shrine Maiden set. Uh, I just uh, equipped it a little bit right there in order to in order to speed up the process. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll equip the rest later on. Sometimes you get menu on, uh, on the black screen, so I kind of did that by accident. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see what I did exactly. Hopefully, nothing, nothing too major. <sighs> so yeah, that was uh, that was in Magawa. Um, he's notoriously harder on Dream of the Demon onwards, which are the NG plus. Uh, you know, you have Dream of the Samurai, which is NG, Dream of the Strong, Dream of the Demon, Dream of the Wise, and Dream of the Neo. Finally, and they change up some stuff. Uh, I won't get into details with that, but uh, he is very, very hard uh, compared to uh, Dream of the Samurai, you know, NG on, um, on later difficulties. Anyways, uh... that's then for the Kamaitachi mission. Uh, Kamaitachi is uh, a weasel. Itachi means weasel, Kama means sickle. Uh, so yeah, get your own conclusions. Got another travel amulet that's gonna be the last travel amulet that we get. And hopefully I won't die here. This is completely after RNG. So we'll see. Ooh, okay. So sometimes she does a certain kind of attack and that will one-shot me. Um, it's not great though because uh, I need to use two healing items, but uh, which are the elixirs. Okay, I'm gonna get this right here. Don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unfortunate. 
So normally the wire is not not an issue. It's more like uh, the Jamamba was more of an issue normally, but uh, the wire decided to be um, not nice and to decide to just roll me. <laughs> I did not expect the first death to be on a wine raw, to be honest. But yeah, you're gonna see a few more deaths, I pretty much guarantee it. Uh, there's a lot of memes in this uh, in this run, and like I said, it's not fully optimized yet because it's so uh, recent. But yeah, uh, I guess uh, I won't have to restart the shrine this time. So yeah, you're just gonna go through all these enemies. And uh, I'll check my armor real quick, just in, just in case I get a bit more useful armor. Yeah, there we go, that's useful. So the Rhyme Maiden set is pretty nice because it's light, and if you're lucky you can get uh, really good uh, uh, bonus sets from, you know, bonus effects from, from the Rhyme Maiden set. It's not really necessary, but you know, it is nice when you get uh, those. Okay, so I get that uh, red spell lily, which also uh, meant your anima, but uh, more than the other one. Uh, and yeah, we'll get that shortcut just in case I die here. I shouldn't die. Uh, we're, we're ready to fight uh, the Kamaitachi and also get hit by, uh, by a stone from that Gaki. Okay. Okay. That was not nice. Hmm. Oh. There we go. That's what I wanted. <coughs> so my throat is getting a bit dry. Not a good, not a great start, honestly. Okay, first counter that. We're gonna uh, heaven and earth right there. We're gonna heaven and earth again. Gonna burst counter to get out of the animation. Gonna punish it a bit more. I didn't explain the sentence uh, gauge, but right now the sentence gauge is full, meaning that the the weapon has no. Okay, that that was a uh, nasty, nasty timing for that attack from the Kamaitachi. But you know, it's okay. He's done. He's done. Sorry I don't explain too much about the strats, it's like a lot of uh, getting used to the fight and to just have proper responses to what they do. But you know, I'll try to comment on as much as possible. But yeah, that was Kamaitachi. The reason why I picked up the Soul Core is not because I need the Soul Core itself, but because I want more uh, Shifling proficiency. In order to get more Shifling skills. Well, you know, skill points. So, you know, it's a bit slower because you get that menu right there, otherwise you would uh, normally uh, avoid it. Uh, but it's very nice to get uh, more shifting uh, skills uh, early on in order to get um, more of a, a better chance at uh, some bosses and also, uh, you know, be a bit faster, uh, especially when recovering key and whatnot. Which is one of the things that I got. I got um, on the shifting tree. I got um, uh, getting more key region when on a dark realm. As I, as I explained in the dark realm, you you get less key region. There's a lot to explain in this game. Sorry, <laughs> there's a lot to take in. I, I just, honestly, I just love the combat system of, of this game, but you know it is very rough to comment on everything. What you're seeing now in the in, in the run, we're just gonna see, it's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more that you can do. All right, so we're gonna call the uh, the elevator right there. Uh, okay, I didn't have enough skill points. That's not great. I'm gonna have to do uh, a bit of fighting before of this next boss. Uh, I might be like right, right. Uh, below the uh, proficiency necessary, sadly. Yeah, I'm gonna go. 
Okay, so we're gonna get out of the elevator and move on to um, shortcut that goes to a shrine in order to be a bit safe. Uh, I'll level up a little bit more HP. Uh, not because I need it, but uh, it's just it's just um, much nicer uh, for certain fights. So we have a bit of time if you want to give some messages. Uh, of course I do. I have a couple here. We have $35 from Leaf saying, The bonus golf game sounds promising. Let's have it. Also, and a question for you, Axel. Uh, you can yes. uh, talk about it after I've finished here. How hard is Neo 2 casually? Now, uh, no bonus prizes on uh, where that donation is going. It's going to the Wacky World of Miniature Golf bonus game, which currently stands at $1,458 out of a possible or required $5,000. So keep those donations coming, because this gap is not going to close itself. Anyway, back to you, Axel, for that question. All right, so about that. Uh, difficulty on almost any game is very subjective. Uh... I would say the most difficult part of uh, Neo 1 and 2 is getting used to the mechanics. The, the, uh, the more mechanics that you know how to use uh, to your advantage, the, the easier time you're going to get. And you can also make some uh, pretty crazy builds. Uh, so, you know, there's, uh, there's uh, several ways to, to give yourself a, uh, an easier time. Okay, there we go. We got the, the skill point. I needed that. Uh, it's not super consistent to uh, to have like uh, the skill points necessary for for Titanic strength. Um, so yeah, that kind of happened, but it's all right. It's not a big time waste. Okay, so we're gonna use Titanic strength right here. It's very useful against human bosses. This is, by the way, our evil twin, pretty much. Uh, they look exactly the same as uh, we do. And now we're gonna do this. Okay, change to purity. Okay, that was a hyper armor move. Quite unfortunate. Right there. We're not gonna switch to, to water in order to cause confusion again because now he's just gonna transition. Yeah, like that. That was very scary. So that's one of the reasons why I want more HP, because that uh, that attack that he did right there by switching weapons from dual sword to, to single sword, it's called a flash attack. Uh, he can do it like almost at any given point, so it's very, very dangerous and does a lot of damage. It's very quick. So because of that, I, I want to uh, be careful on this boss, yeah. Phantom phase is uh, uh, this is the phantom phase on, on him because he's using the or they are using the the phantom uh, yokai shift. Okay, we're gonna use this, and there we go. <laughs> ah, I'll, I'll explain a bit more of the boss uh, in a moment. First, I gotta get some water. <clears throat> okay, so the Saito Yoshitatsu was our, our evil twin, um, and basically the the the, the gimmick on, on him or on on them, because you know since it's our evil twin, if you pick a female character, it's gonna be female. If you pick a male character, it's gonna be uh, male. Uh, they're gonna use uh, two spirits from the starting pool of three, you know, the three starting Pokemon so, uh, spirits. Um, so we, pick, uh, we picked up uh, Brute, uh, yeah, the, the Jokai, uh, Jokai Shift Brute. So because of that, uh, Saito Yoshitatsu will, will use Sword, Dual Swords, uh, Phantom, and, uh, and Feral. Uh, if you pick, um, if you pick, uh, let's just say Feral, and then he will use uh, Sword with Phantom and uh, Olachi with a Brute. So that's kind of uh, the gimmick. 
it is possible to skip the Yokai shift phase, where uh, where uh, Saito Izitatsu uh, transforms into into one of those uh, three or you know two, depending on uh, what you picked at the start. Okay, so avoiding that enemy is very important because it's very dangerous, can two shot you easily. Uh, so yeah, depending on that, uh, only use uh, one or the other. And I didn't explain it, but um, depending on what uh, Saito Yoshitatsu does when you attack him, uh, attack the boss, uh, Saito will uh, will do uh, a grab. So normally, when that ha when you know when when that's gonna happen, is because uh, Saito starts blocking. Uh, so you want to avoid that grab. Is uh, it wouldn't one shot me? with what I have, but it would almost one-shot me after leveling up my HP and whatnot. So it is very dangerous. Now we're moving on uh, to Tataremoke, and you might you might have noticed that uh, I have uh, two spirits that I can actually get. Uh, we're gonna equip the second one in a hot minute. Um, the second one is going to be the Feral, and we're going to use the Monkey from uh, uh, Tokichiro that we got at the start. Um, it's just uh, slightly better than the other options that we have for what we want to do. And now we're going to talk to Mumio right here, which she's right there. And she will actually give us a Clell... Clay Bell of Beckoning, which will summon as campus that we're gonna summon straight away for this boss. It will make the boss way more uh, consistent. Uh, it can still meme me, so look out for that. We're gonna level up a bit more constitution. Uh, and we're gonna change to Mazaru, uh, equip Jatsu no Kami and Enki. Okay, so... Right now, after this boss, uh, if it doesn't drop me a uh, split stuff, I'm gonna have to go get one at the blacksmith. Uh, so we'll see. Right at the start of the boss, we're gonna buff with purity. It is not necessary, but uh, it sets up the fight quite a bit. Oh, okay. That was unfortunate. Okay, that was, that was a bit awkward on my end. Okay, now we use that. And because of that, we have uh, time to buff with water, do that. That was a bl uh, blind spot for that attack. Oh, and that was unfortunate. Okay, things are getting a bit uh, rough right now. So we're gonna be using the, the Feral first counter in order to avoid some attacks. Okay, now now another mug is gone. Yeah, that's that's it, TG. Okay, <laughs> that was uh, scary. Uh, I'm getting uh, a bit of uh, some issues some somewhere, uh, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we get some stuff uh, gathering. Yeah, we gather some uh, some stuff that is going to be used later in the run. And yeah, we didn't get any split stuff, so we're gonna get that as well. While I do that, uh, you can read uh, some more stuff if you want. Certainly, I will uh, get right onto that. Uh, just a quick update on the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Take the stairs incentive. Uh, we're still at $630 out of $750. Uh, just about $120 for this incentive to be met. Uh, so I wholeheartedly encourage you all to get those donations in uh, because, again, in the remake, uh, it is actually slower to take the stairs compared to the elevator when it was the other way around in the original. So if you want to take the scenic routes through Final Fantasy VII and enjoy some hilarious dialogue, get those donations in. We are very, very close. We're most of the way there. And compared to the 35.5k we've already raised, that's 120 more. So keep those donations coming, and let's see some hilarious dialogue. Uh, back to you, Axel. All right. 
So yeah, that uh, Tataramage fight was not great. Uh, I messed up the start a little bit. I attacked a bit too early, so I got a, a dash attack instead of a, the attack that I was uh, doing, you know, planning on doing. But yeah, it's all right. I managed to to pull through. Uh, all right, so we're in this mission right here. Uh, the boss of this mission is Magara Naotaka, which uses a Nodachi, uh, but he's also a Jokai. Uh, and the reason why I picked up uh, uh, split stuff in the in the blacksmith. Also, I, I just uh, got a uh, scampos right there in order to give. Uh, to get some anima before the fight. Um, the reason why I picked up the split stuff is because I I want to build up uh, skill points for it. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna burst uh, counter that because otherwise it's very sketchy. All right. Um... Yeah. The reason why I did that is. Uh, you know, I picked up the, the split stuff is because of the, uh, getting some uh, skill points. Uh, it's also pretty fast to use the split stuff on Madara Naotaka. Uh, but it also gives us uh, quite a few uh, decent spots where, where to get some free damage, where, you know, it doesn't really matter too much if I have skills or not. Um, we're gonna do that again for another boss in the next region. And after that, it is just, um, you know, we just use this playstyle because it's better on some fights. But uh, during most of the run, you're going to see the axe. We're not going to level up here. We don't need to level up. Uh, this campus uh, is gone. Uh, you can notice that they talk in, in like, uh, some kind of Jokai language. It's... Um, it's pretty rough. No, not pretty rough. It's, it's, you cannot understand them uh, until you get enough uh, uh, proficiency with the uh, shifting. So at some point we're going to understand what they're saying. Anyways, uh, Magara Naotaka right here. We're going to start with the with the axe and uh, we're going to switch to split stuff on some parts of it, of the fight. Okay. This is good. There we go. I'm gonna attack a bit more. That's not what I wanted. I'm getting some issues that I was not experiencing before. Alright, so we got enough proficiency for another. to get another skill on the split stuff. And now we're gonna use Dragon Dance, which is one of the most powerful skills of uh, the split stuff. Okay, that was a bit unfortunate. It's okay though. Okay, uh, after the, end, the next one, she, she should be dead. Keep, keep fluxing, uh, fluxing two. Using fluxing, flux two is really useful. And now he's dead. All right, GG. Um. Okay. I might change one thing. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll try doing one thing real quick. Okay, okay never mind. Okay, let's go. This is uh, the next mission. We have uh, Azai Nagamasa in this mission. It's, uh, it's kind of like the, the previous one. With, uh, 
but it's uh, quite um, it's like a human boss, but it's a uh, yokai. So you'll you'll see how that is soon. Uh, I ha uh, we have some time for more messages. Oh uh, yes, certainly. Uh, so let's talk about a couple more incentives that are also coming down the line. Uh, so let's talk about, first and foremost, the bid war for the starting path on Cyberpunk 2077. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this cannot get any closer. We have three options, Nomad, Street Kid, and Corpo. Uh, Nomad is in third place with $26, but Corpo and Street Kid are tied $170 apiece. So it can't get any closer than that, and we're gonna need a resolution to this deadlock. So get those donations in to, you know, sway the vote in any which direction you so desire. Uh, further down the line, we also have Make Kraden Angry for the Golden Sun The Lost Age run. Uh, that is currently at 235 out of $300, and if my math doesn't fail me here, that's $65 to go. Any one donation can do this, or, again, if my math doesn't fail me, 13 $5 donations, so a little train, could get that incentive met. So, keep those donations coming, and let's keep raising money for such an incredible cause. Axel, back to you. All right, uh, so I just realized that uh, I don't have enough uh, skill points again. Yeah, I, I should be able to get uh, this thing right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fight a little bit uh, again. Normally uh, that never happens, but uh, you know marathon stuff, I guess. Uh, okay. There we go. All right, we got it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna buff right here. I mean, well, I'll just do this. Ah. Okay, there we go. Normally, I would uh, have done that before uh, when I was uh, opening some shortcuts, but uh, you know, yeah, I didn't notice that I didn't have enough skill points for that. Anyways, let's just touch this first attack. Not that early, because otherwise he hits you. Come on. That. And. There we go, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna buff again, and we're gonna use Rumbling Earth right here. Feeling more key damage. Setting up this part as well. Now we're gonna wait a little bit and then do another rumbling earth. And we're gonna do that again. Just like that. A bit more. Then we're gonna rumble earth. There we go. We're gonna wait a little bit more this time. I'm gonna finish with this. And that's a sign of Amasa. Wanted to wait a little bit more because uh, not everything was exactly the way I wanted at that point. Uh, so I kind of wanted to, do, to go a bit safe. Alright. So that's the end of the third region. Okay, I'm gonna try doing this the moment that, that I have a bit of time. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, we're, we're gonna um, we're gonna use the the brute counter again on the next boss. It's taking a bit of time to load this time around. Okay. Sorry, I was like checking one thing in order to improve a bit uh, the issues that I'm having. I haven't had the, those before. All right. So it's gonna take like a minute to get to that uh, to that boss. So if you have any more messages, yeah, I was gonna ask just now, but yeah, take your time as much as you can in a speed run. That is. But, but yeah, let's talk a little bit more about Alzheimer Fonden. Uh, yearly, Alzheimer Fonden Science Council and Board of Directors grant scientists and projects around 30 million Swedish krona. Alzheimer Fonden enables training for caregivers on the subject of dementia and organizes projects, camps, and events for youngsters affected in different ways due to parents or other relatives diagnosed with Alzheimer's. No matter how much you're, you choose to donate, we'd like to thank you for your support of such an amazing cause. So yeah, Axel, if you need any more time, I have some more things I can say. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Fantastic, so just uh, another couple of few reminders uh, for the list of incentives here that we have in store. Uh, in the Tesla grad run, um, Code Jin will show a new skip found for New Game Plus using extended blink hitbox and AI manipulation, uh, which is called, well, I think the name of this incentive is called Church Slingshot, which sounds like a very interesting name. And guess what? It's only $75 until it is met. So yeah, keep those donations coming so we can get some incredible showcases uh, met here. Uh, we also have the bonus game, the miniature, the Wacky World of Miniature Golf cutscene percent run by Big John, and that is still at about $1,458 out of a possible and required 5000 So by all means, keep those donations coming. Uh, we, I love to see them. I love to read them. So all of your support is super important. Thank you for your support. Back to you, Axel. All right, so we're equipping more magic. That's why we got more magic right now. We got uh, Fire Talisman, uh, fire stop talisman and lightning talisman. They're gonna be used uh, later in the run. Uh, we're not gonna get more uh, for quite a long time until like uh, the DLC. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be what you are gonna see for a while. And right now we're up to uh, Saika Magoichi, which is not the same one from Neo One. It's actually like the antecessor. Um, yeah, ancestor, yes, uh, from the Saika clan. That's uh, how they named the, the leader of the clan. And yeah, very important uh, titanic strength in order to get some nice combos going on. You know, stun locks. Okay. Let's see if I can get him right there. Okay, now we're gonna switch to. Security. Oh, then first counter. And because of that, uh, we are causing confusion right now. Confusion. I did not explain actually. I did not explain what confusion does. But basically, what it does is uh, it reduces the on, on humans. It reduces the the key recovery and to makes them uh, uh, get more damage on them. So it's very, very useful. And then on... Uh, Trouble on it, by the way. On uh, on Jokai enemies, uh, it uh, hampers uh, completely the, the key region and also the, and reduces the... I mean, uh, yeah, reduces the defense. Like, it makes them uh, take more damage. So confusion is very, very important. And right now we're gonna fight Gyuki, which is... Uh, Quite a memeful boss. Uh, there's a lot of memes that uh, this boss can do, mainly just jump all the time. We don't want to see that. So yeah, uh, you don't want to lock on, on this boss. Uh, locking on is kind of concerning. 
And we started with uh, the axe, but after some uh, after some hits with the axe, we're gonna transition into the split stuff, and we're gonna use some dragon dance again. We're gonna cause that confusion with the lining and purity. Very important to to dodge that first uh, attack because otherwise uh, it's very very bad. Okay, not getting the best RNG, but you know not the not the most terrible either. Yeah, the, the jumps that he's spamming right now, that's not what we want to see. No. Okay, now this should be okay. I'm gonna use the snake again. And we don't need to do lining again. I'm gonna change to brute for the sole reason of uh, this animation being faster with the brute. I'm gonna get mat spinner 2 for later on the run. Chin Crusher and uh, Twin Phoenix, yes. And now we're gonna go over to the Speed Stuff 3 right there. Remove that and do Masterful Slice on Chin Crusher. We don't want the that uh, Soko right there because uh, it just makes this uh, the lock pop uh, way later. So it's bad for speed. Uh, let's see. Wasn't able to do it in time. Yeah, I wasn't able to to menu there. Sometimes you can menu on on black screens, like I said before. I'm just gonna equip it here. Normally you would want to, to switch to to the sword on time uh, on those fights. Mm -mm -mm. So now we're gonna go to the Honoji Temple. If you remember Gala's run of uh, Neo One, shout out to Gala by the way. Um, she did this level with the Yuki Onna, uh, and it was like a uh, full of snow and whatnot. This is. You know, uh, this is after, or you know, this is before that happened. Yes, this is by the time uh, Nobunaga died here. So yeah, that is the this place, and everything is on fire. <laughs> Literally everything is on fire. Or who knows? Maybe it's just the Northern Lights. Anyways. We're gonna walk through the fire right here. This blue fire is stronger than the other one, so even with water and fire resistant, uh, I still take a bit of damage. We're gonna get this uh, red spider lily. You know, the, the more we get, the better. And uh, right on this door right here that we're gonna go through, we're gonna pop... Uh, Couple of Lumicide Crystals, um, yeah, I was I was supposed to do two in a row instead of, uh, I mean, not in a row, uh, at once, not instead of uh, one after the other. But, you know, it's okay. Doesn't really matter too much. We're gonna level up to 30 Constitution, that's gonna stay there for the rest of the run. Uh, more Constitution is just um, not really that useful anymore. Uh, it gets a bit too out of hand in terms of damage in the DLC to manage with more constitution uh, at the cost of other stats. And before that, uh, you can still tank uh, stuff in the in the main game. Uh, not not a lot of stuff, but you know you can still tank a bit of hits. But yeah, we're gonna use this. And right here, the reason why we pop those crystals is to get Jokai shift in this door. So we can just open it without dying from the fire. You can also do it without it, but 
uh, you will just survive with just a little bit of HP and will, will make everything more concerning. So this is Kasha. Kasha is a card girl in a Segway. Uh, very, very modern. We're gonna hit the, the wheel. The, the wheels are the, uh, her weak spots. Uh, she likes to transition into uh, Joker, uh, I mean Dark Realm, quite early. So, you know, watch out for that. And now, after we recover a bit more key. Uh, yeah, that was a bad dodge, sorry. We're gonna do this. Do some uh, snake for damage and key damage. We're gonna buff with water. Attack it a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna heal here. Because I didn't do it properly. Uh, okay, bad RNG on that. Okay, confusion. So a lot of damage. Flux 2 in order to gather more key. We're gonna avoid this with a burst counter. Okay. She likes just stepping off right now, like that. Okay, this is bad. Okay, we're gonna use uh, the snake again. I can't see because of a corner. Okay, this is this is not good. Uh, that was, this is unfortunate. Yeah, that was very unfortunate with the RNG. Oh, first uh, boss death. Ah. Uh. We're gonna get that uh, back there in 30 seconds. <laughs> or so. I have a few donations if we have some time. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Excellent. So, we have an $11.11 donation by Secret Berserker, uh, who is also asking you a question. I'll, well, you can get to that once I'm finished. Uh, Thanks for contributing to this amazing charity. Axel is the best. If you had to play a boss, who would you be? Five dollars from Ghost Alchemist saying, Hey Axel, I just snuck out of work to watch your run. Good luck destroying this game as usual. Oh, and try not to fall asleep this time. And finally, five dollars from Von Flaken saying, Keep up the good work. And that last one is going towards the Take the Stairs incentive, which is now at $115 away from being met. So keep those donations coming and don't forget to put them into our incentives so we can see some amazing extra showcases. So yeah, back to you, Axel. Okay, uh, what was the exact question again? Uh, the exact question was, if you had to play a boss, who would you be? Uh, I don't know. I, I just really like being myself, <laughs> so I, I, I don't really, I don't really go for those kind of stuff too much. Uh, so when's Neo three with the Axel Sango boss fight? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll give them some pointers. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I like uh, I like several fights uh, quite a bit. Um, I just don't know. Ah, come on. This is that. Yeah, that's so bad. Okay, I'm gonna use this. So I used uh, Yokai Ship right here in order to get a bit of out of a situation that was very bad. Because that, uh, that, um, what is it called? That Beyblade that she summons, which we're gonna use later in the run, by the way. Okay, that was unfortunate. That was a bit unfortunate. She just did a really bad attack in a really bad moment. <laughs> oh man. Well, I was definitely not expecting dying twice to Kasha. <laughs> but yeah, I like several bosses. I like this one. Uh, when she doesn't mean me a lot. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, that, is, that is very nice. I do have another donation here to fill the time. Okay. 
Fantastic. We have a $40 donation from Mathurin saying, thanks for keeping me entertained while I've been at home sick all week. And that donation also went towards the Take the Stairs incentive. Now that's $75 away from being met. So we're inching closer and closer. So keep those donations coming. And thank you all for your incredible generosity throughout this run. Back to you, Axel. All right. So I'm going to try hard right now because uh, well, the amount of memes that uh, she's doing right now is, is not normal. Yeah. But you know, it always happens, like, uh, at some point of the run, bosses are just gonna uh, start doing a lot of memes, so, you know, it's bound to happen. Not too surprised. Okay, I switch to water, which is what I failed to do on the previous one. That nah, this should be good, this should be good. Okay, we're gonna do some uh, Joka Shift Grapple, and this should be GG. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's Kasha. Sorry, I I just... Uh, between me messing up a little bit and getting bad RNG, uh, things just went uh, bad. <laughs> okay, let's get that one, and yeah, I wasn't able to get the other one. I think I was able to actually on the black on the black screen. All right. So this is. Uh, can you tell me what's the what's the timer looking like at the moment? The timer currently reads one hour four minutes and twenty eight seconds. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because of all the memes that happened on Kasha, uh, normally on, on a regular run I would be below one hour at this point. On a really good run, I would get this next boss in below one hour as well. But, you know, things that happen. Nothing you can do about. Uh, so this next boss is uh, Ryumin Sukuna. He uh, has the peculiarity of being like, kind of like two bosses at the same time. He uh, has like a part with fire and the other one with um, water or ice. Um, let's see if this loads. So it's like it's probably because I'm trying to to do some missions. Okay, there we go. Like I was noticing the the, the game not uh, like and not behaving as usual, so I tried removing some stuff on the background. Um, so maybe that's that's why it kind of did that. All right. So yeah, it has a it has a fire and water. So you know, one one side is weak to the other element, but we're not gonna use either of them. We're gonna use uh, purity and uh, and lining. We're gonna buff with fire this uh, soul right here in order to get a bit extra damage for this uh, for this crystal. Yes, very cool, very nice meme. Oh, of course, of course, of course they're gonna do the fast attacks in the marathon. <laughs> That has happened before, but uh, uh, like 90% of the times you're just able to do that uh, when they die before they can hit you. Because the surrounding crystal uh, makes them die. Alright. Sit like right there. That's uh, normally what happens. 
Anyways, we're gonna take this safety shrine right here. And uh, that right there is a shortcut, so we're gonna get it as well. Meanwhile, we're gonna do some more menu. Went through the rice fields. And we're gonna get uh, on the shifting tree, we're gonna get this and this. Hopefully, uh, no means will happen here. Okay, that's normally the case where they don't do anything, so you know, everything is back to normal. And right here, uh, in 10 seconds, is the start of the boss. Um, this boss doesn't like to give you uh, a lot of openings uh, apart from certain spots, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But with purity right at the start, and uh, yeah, just wait for that. And yeah, that's what I mean. He likes to do that a lot after almost every attack. So you need to watch out for that. And there we go. I'm gonna do that again in order to get some more damage in. Now he's gonna transition into uh, Dark Realm. And now he's gonna do that. And we're gonna punish that as well. Titanic Strength. And now we're gonna switch to Lightning. And while we do that, we're gonna summon the Snake in order to get some more damage in. He moved in a weird way, so he kinda just waited. Okay, this is not a very comfy attack, but it's fine. You can circumvent it like that. You can do this. So with the Jokai Shift Grapple, you do more damage. And, uh, you know, uh, taking the, the chance of uh, dealing more damage with, uh, with the Confusion. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. I need water. <coughs> huh? Just a casual reminder to stay hydrated. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Like, normally I don't talk this much, so I'm not used to to do it. Like, when, when, I, when I do marathon runs like this and I explain a lot of stuff, like, I need to drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally get it. But you're doing a great job, let me say. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so that's the end of the fourth region, if I remember. Yeah, this is the fourth region, yes. Okay. So next region, uh, we're gonna do one more main mission. Uh, we unlocked uh, more uh, slots for uh, how you say it, um, yokai skills. So that gives us the chance of getting uh, both uh, Yatsuno Kami and Kasha Soul Core, uh, which are gonna be the main uh, the main yokai uh, skills on the run. Uh, for the Romanian over run. And we're also gonna change our Feral Spirit to uh, uh, Nekomata, because Nekomata gives us, uh, between other stuff, but mainly uh, gives us 20% uh, more damage on uh, Feral skills, which is really good for Kasha, as you can see right here. That's not coming, yeah, yes. And then Kasha right there. Sorry, I'm messing up the menus. Yeah, you, if you if you were able to read that, it says 20% more damage on on Jokai skill, uh, but all. Now we switch to uh, Brute because the, the next boss is a human boss. Uh, you're gonna see a trick that you can do with uh, buffing with water and and uh, doing. Uh, you know, with a, what is it called, uh, with a sentience uh, weapon, you know, with corruption, you can do a little trick. Hmm, I need more water. <laughs> so that's a little shortcut, just in case. Okay.
Let's see. We're gonna do Titanic strength as usual with the human bosses. It uh, punishes them quite efficiently. Now we're gonna do this to remove the buff with the water. And that way we can. Okay, that was not nice. No, that was not nice, Mataza. We can set up the confusion like that very efficiently. Just like that, that's Mataza or Maeda Toshie. He's just also known by Mataza. I didn't want to talk to him, but it's okay. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Go home. You're drunk. Okay. So, uh, next boss is gonna be Shibata Katsuya, which um, we have a, a loop for. But before that, don't try to solve me. I'm going through this door. Come on. No. I'm going through this door, I said. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. That's the, the only the only door clip that uh, that I know of um, in this game. We're gonna buff with uh, uh, fire stop because uh, this was of uh, fire damage and with purity. And uh, if we get good start, we are gonna be able to get a pretty good fight. That was not nice. Okay, come on, give me a bit nicer start for the attack. Come on. No, no, that's not good. Okay, that's good. And now we're gonna do this. Perfect. And this is the start of the loop. Now we're gonna switch to water. Do the same thing. Fly confusion. Okay, okay, that was... Yeah, sometimes so, sometimes he can do uh, something before before it happens. But yeah, uh, that's the idea. Now we're gonna do some more pretty. And the snake. Gonna knock him down. And just in case, we're gonna battle with water again. And, he, and this is GG. GG. So that's kind of the loop. Uh, it's it's harder at the start because it has more key, but uh, after that, uh, it's very consistent. All right, I'm gonna pour some more water on my my glass. And now we're gonna do the the next dojo. We have a bit of more time. Do you have a moment for a donation? Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. So we have $15 from Arthorius with a couple points for you and a few for me as well. Uh, number one, Fuku is super cute. Uh, two, Minamoto no Yorimitsu, smiley face. And apparently you will know what that means. Uh, also, uh, Arthorius is asking whether you've explained Featherless yet. And I believe you did at the start of the run. Yeah, right on the start. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, what am I doing? And finally, point number four, 10 out of 10 for the voice who read this. And I wanted to say thank you very much for the compliment and your donation. So yeah, thank you for your generosity. Uh, back to you, Axel. Okay, I just messed up the start of the dojo. <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna die you know, to, in order to show, the, show it properly, because otherwise it's just very long. I, I messed up the start. <laughs> but yeah, I know what he means by that, yes, yes. Torias, uh, shout out to Artorias. He's he's been super supportive uh, over the last year on my stream. I really appreciate him. Very really, very really cool guy. Okay. Oh come on! Don't be like that, Nibi. Thank you. Okay, now the Iponatara is back. But now I have more skills. Yeah, that's it on Natara. So the reason why we do this Zojo is because um, right now we don't have a damage buff at all. Uh, so we're gonna get it. Uh, and that's called Carnage. 
And, you know, like, there's another way to get another buff. Like, you, we could use the Kusarigama with the Summer Twilight. But because of uh, um, the nature of, of the bosses in, in this game compared to Neo 1, because they take longer if you, if you do Featherless, uh, the animation of, uh, you know, ch changing to... Not, not the animation, but the, the time that it takes to change to Kusarigama, buff, and all that stuff, it just it takes too much time. So it's just way more convenient to just uh, do this dojo and uh, get the, the carnage. You get more damage on yourself when you buff with carnage, but you know it pays off for the extra damage. <clears throat> and yeah, uh, Jeremy Tsu, by the way, is going to be one of the uh, toughest bosses in the run later on the DLCs. The one that uh, Arthurius was mentioning. Uh, this next boss is going to be Tokichiro, you know, the, the guy who helps us uh, right at the start after defeating Mizuki. And um, yeah, he's kind of turned evil because of uh, Kashin Koji and the, and the stones. Lore stuff that I'm not very uh, prepared to talk about in the middle of the run, honestly. <laughs> I, I prefer to focus on the on the tech stuff, uh, and even then I can't even do it properly because there's so much uh, adapting to what is happening that uh, you know it doesn't follow a script uh, most of the times. But yeah, we're gonna level up more magic, and we're gonna equip those carnage talismans. Oh yeah, I, I lied before. I said I wasn't gonna get any more magic until the DLC. I lied. I forgot about the carnage. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get four for reasons uh, of um, uh, slots in uh, later. We're gonna put the carnage right here. Switch to the other item slot. And buff with water. Okay, uh, my sentience bar is really high, so hopefully I can apply water beforehand, but I don't think I will. But if not, it's okay. Uh, corruption is also pretty good. It's just gonna deal uh, less damage overall. Yeah. We were not able to, to apply the water, but I, that's fine. We're gonna do that again. That okay, we're gonna do this high stance strong attack. Titanic strength. And this is GG. Oh maybe not. Okay, okay. He he did some interesting stuff right there. I also, I mean, I also kind of went a bit risky at the end, but I thought he was gonna die for sure because I was, I was wrong. All right. So if you paid attention to the layout of the of this mission, um, you will notice on the on the next mission that we're kind of starting where we left off, but uh, you know everything is way darker. It's because of uh, what the actual villain of the uh, of the game has on has resurrected. Um, yeah, it kind of it kind of explains it right here. A man with red eyes approaches Sokichiro's corpse, and you know, basically he resurrects it and uh, summons this uh, craziness on the yokai. So yeah, you will see, you will see. All right. Uh, so right at the start, we're gonna we're gonna buff with. Uh, Carnage right here in order to set up this uh, cycle, so to speak. I want to call it cycle. And we're going to get as close as possible uh, uh, to the crystal after it pops, so we can do this. There we go. That's perfect. It's pretty rough to to do uh, to do that in in one uh, match spinner. Pretty rough, actually. Oh no, 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 no! 
Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to avoid that, but I somehow I failed the the attack. Um, it's okay. That, that uh, it's dead now, so I think I can just go this way instead. Um, I'm gonna show you the other way around. The way, uh, the reason why uh, we go the other way, you know, with the Kamaitachi right there, I'm breaking the other crystal, is because, uh, you know, otherwise you cannot really kill them. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Yes, very cool. Uh, don't. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna break this. Oh man. That was uh that was not very well executed on my end. Spot the fire. And this next boss is very weak, very, very weak to fire. And the the following one is also very weak to fire actually, finally well enough. Um but yeah. Hopefully, uh, we'll, I'll be able to do things properly here, and you'll see how how much he gets melted by fire. Hmm. Unfortunate. Oh, come on. Uh. Come on. Oh. I, I messed up. I messed up. I thought that he was going to do something else. It's okay. This is summon Kasha again to save us. Kasha is a very, very important uh, Yokai skill on the run. Okay, there we go. That, that was a sketchy. That was a sketchy. I didn't do it right like I should have done it. But, um, you know. I'm going to get this just in case, but. I should definitely not need it. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna rush to this point right here where there's a, um, there's a barricade. And we're gonna bait the, the boss. Oh, come on. Skelly is being nasty. Right. So that right there that you see in the background, that's a, a some kind of golem shooting orbs. That's like like that Abochi, which is the boss of the, of this mission. Okay, we're gonna uh, pet the cat, a cute cat, so we can get some more anima. It's gonna be nice. Not super needed, but uh, you know, it's like right there. And it can help us uh, quite a bit. Okay. So yeah, that, I burst counter through uh, with a feral, feral burst counter. I should just say feral counter. Or uh, it's gonna be less confusing. Um, through those boulders. We're gonna iframe them with that. And yeah, we're gonna start with uh, with Ivara Bochi. Which uh, is... One of the main usages of uh, one of the main uses of uh, what is it called? Uh, Mad Spinner Two, which is the skill that I'm doing right now. This uh, this thing right here. It's very efficient uh, against this boss. Okay, so now he's doing that, so I'm gonna counter it with the brute. You cannot counter it with uh, any other thing. Okay, uh, yes. I forgot to switch back. <laughs> okay. We're gonna buff again with uh, Carnage to renew the, the buff. And normally you would have to go through three phases of this boss, but we're gonna try to skip uh, the last phase. With Feathers you can actually skip uh, the... Uh, you can skip all phases, you can just do like almost all the damage after after breaking the, the first uh, blow or you know, like, thing right here. 
Uh, I think I didn't do enough damage. Uh, I kind of I kind of let go of the Kashar a bit too early, I think. Or did I? No, I think I, I did it actually. Okay, that's good. Okay, I switch to uh, Brew to to be a bit faster. I'm gonna get this and this. Morning Moon is gonna be useful uh, later in the round. Okay, so we got. Uh, did we get anything good? Actually, let me check. Okay, we got that. We didn't get any split stuff, but uh, as long as we get a, a split stuff on the next mission, that's gonna be all right. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to an NPC and then do some, you know, prepare for the uh, for the next uh, mission and whatnot. So there's some downtime now. Brilliant. Then I can talk about a couple of things that are uh, still pending here. Okay, so we can talk about, uh, there's a donation incentive that I have overlooked over the past half of this run, and I'm so sorry. Uh, it is the language choice for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. It is closing at the very end of this run, and I, and neglecting this is, was a, an oversight on my end, and I'm so sorry. Currently, we have three options, English, Japanese, and French. You will never guess who's in last place. It's French with zero dollars. Sadly, uh, no, no score has been made with French, and I call upon the French community to kind of, you know, change that uh, over the remaining half of this run. Uh, but it is a close race for the top. Japanese is in second with 220 bucks. English is in first with 220. Wait for it. Five. There's five dollars between first and second. So if you want to you know, bolster the chances of French being selected, get those donations in. If you want Japanese to take the lead, get those donations in. If you want English to extend the gap, keep those donations going. Uh, I believe my screener is in need of donos to screen. So yeah, keep my, fr my screener friend busy with your donations. Uh, thank you for your generosity, whatever you choose to do. Back to you, Axel. All right, so we're on, on uh, I would say this is my favorite uh, area of the game. Like th this uh, this mission is really cool, very mystic. Uh, so you have to break some crystals like I did right there, like that one. And those crystals uh, will get a, will give you a key or some kind of orb, which is uh, this one that I'm placing right now in this in the mouth of this uh, Happy um, dragon, and uh, those will lower the uh, the water level. There's a skip that you can do here uh, if you have uh, the ninjutsu for it or enough health, but uh, we do not have either of them, so we cannot do it. <laughs> like as uh, you can go to the to the right and um, you know skip this place where I'm going at right now. It doesn't save a, a lot of time, it saves like uh, maybe uh, 20 seconds or something. But yeah, it, it is... Uh, with this rod it's not really possible to do it. If I remember correctly. Alright, so we're gonna uh, spin to win with this crystal. And avoid that dweller. That dweller can meme you very, very hard. And we got another Dragon God Jewel. And while we do this, we're gonna be uh, updating our equipment. Just so we can tank a little bit of some attacks. Um, in Neo 2, uh, you can, as opposed to Neo 1, you can tank uh, more attacks. Uh, in Neo 1, it does a lot more one shots. So yeah, it's a, it's more it's more useful to 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 be changing the armor in Neo 2 uh, in a run. I mean, um, one thing that's that happened in Neo One that doesn't happen in this one as well is that when you equipped uh, any amount of uh, load uh, of equip load. On yourself, it would actually uh, decrease your damage by a little bit. Um, it actually, like, uh, we didn't know that until like 
I don't know if it was like one or two years after the game came out. So it was something like uh, very surprising to just notice uh, when I I just happened to notice at some point. I don't remember what I was doing, but yeah, it's not a big uh, debuff on damage, but it, it did exist. It, it it doesn't exist on this one at least when I tested. Maybe they added it later, but I did not notice anything, so I don't think so. Anyways, we're up to this next boss, with the, which is Shoot and Dodgy. Uh, very cool boss, actually. Um, it can mean me a lot as well, uh, but we'll see what happens. I buff. Okay. Normally, I would just buff uh, on, at the start of the boss fight, but I just I just decided to buff beforehand because I don't know what I'm doing half of the times. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay, we're gonna do some hammer nerf here. Oh, okay. This should be good. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna do some more hammer nerf right here. And uh, right now he should transition right there into Jokai ship. I mean, into diagram, sorry. And I was not supposed to use that one. But it's okay. Let's just roll with it. Let's just assume that I, that I did it right. Okay, we're gonna buff with water right here as well. And we're gonna do some more snake shenanigans. Okay. So yeah, that attack is quite dangerous. So I didn't need to stay away from that. Yeah, he decided to do that as well. Okay, now he should be pretty much done. Yeah, this is GG. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Here I get this just uh, just to get a bit more proficiency on the on the things. Let's see, did I get a uh, space stuff? No, I didn't. Okay, we're gonna have to buy one because if if I don't get the space stuff on the next boss. Then um, it kind of messes up the rest of the setting of the setup for for the next mission. So will I do that? Uh, if you have anything to read? Uh, certainly, uh, I can take this time right here to talk a little bit more about Alzheimer Fund and the charity we're raising money towards this event. So, uh, the World Health Organization classifies dementia as one dementia as one of the world's greatest health problems. Just over 47 million people are affected. It is estimated that the number of dementia diseases in the world will have tripled up to 2050. Thanks to gifts and wills from private individuals and companies, Alzheimer Fonden was able to distribute almost 30 million Swedish krona last year. Even still, the money is not enough to be able to support all important projects that lie ahead. The Alzheimer Fund could only grant about 19% of the funds applied for. So thank you all for helping us raise money for such an incredible cause and keep those donations coming. Uh, so that I can read them all with uh, my, my apparently 10 out of 10 voice. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Axel, back to you. All right. So we're going to... Uh, this mission is kind of a, like a boss rush mission. So we're going to fight uh, some bosses that we fought before. I uh, started with Enendra. And uh, actually, Enendra is the most dangerous of them. <laughs> oh, come on. He also has uh, the worst to start. Yeah, like that. Oh man, I got uh, bad RNG on all aspects. Uh, the dog chased me. I got shot. And then I decided to do the teleport. Everything that could have gone badly went badly. So let's do it again. Let's see. Can you not? Buff, heal a little bit. Okay, now we're we're in. Let's go. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna buff a bit with. Uh, 
with Carnage again in order to refresh it. I'm gonna do this into that, into the, um, you know. Sorry, it's like <laughs> I'm not used to the same uh, the names of things. Okay, I dodged that, but I wanted to counter it. It was not supposed to to be done. Sorry. <laughs> It's really rough to, to just say what you're how, gonna do when when you don't even know beforehand what you're gonna do. So. Like you really need to adapt. <laughs> Anyways, we switch to the split stuff for the next fights. It's gonna be more more useful. Okay, we're gonna prepare a bit the menu as well. Because we, we're gonna have a bit of time to after the um, the next boss. So after an end row, the next boss is going to be Yatsu no Kami. You know the snake, the Dazi snake that he also is very passionate about hacks. So that's why he has uh, two snake arms, so he can hack you even better. Um, gonna buff a little bit here and at the start of the fight, and he should start with yeah that. Putting that on the ground, and now we're gonna do Dragon Dance into Kasha. Okay, not nice. Okay, that's a bit better. I use Kasha again. Oh, cool. Okay, there we go. We we'll have to do this. It's not perfect, but you know, it is what it is. RNG. Okay. So we got some pretty good um, light equipment right there as well. But I'm gonna do this. There we go. I'm gonna get this safety shrine. And the next boss is um, Kasha. Yeah, Kasha, the, the one that gave me so so many issues, uh, uh, like I don't know, around thirty minutes or so ago. She is back, but now I'm stronger. And I have so her soccer as well. Even though I, I'm not gonna use it here. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll I'll just do this. Yeah, I'll just do that. You know, improvisation. Yeah, you can shift, very useful in certain situations. You're gonna get this you know, Kasha Soul Core as well. It's gonna be useful uh, to upgrade it later. Uh, I didn't get any new one, okay. Need to pay more attention to, to the weapons that I get, honestly. <laughs> Alright. So now we're gonna buff. Uh, well, we're gonna fight Lady Osakabe, uh, which is the wife of Tokichiro, and she's a house with uh, three tentacles. Very cool. Okay. So yeah, uh, split stuff is very very useful against uh, Lady Osakabe. Uh, he has a uh, quite a bit of an advantage compared to. Oh come. On. Compared to Axe when fighting the Yasakabe. So we're gonna use that. Carbon Dance. Yeah, they, basically, we, we want to use um, what I was using there. This thing right here. It's called Shin Crusher. We got it uh, while we were defeating uh, Yuki. And it's really, really good for key damage. 
So yeah, we're we're definitely using that. Okay. Okay. We're gonna buff while we wait for this, and we're gonna use this snake straight away in order to deal a lot of damage. It is possible to skip the phases, uh, like the second phase of this boss, but uh, you need uh, a lot of cannon damage that uh, we don't have access in the round. So, you know, on NG+, for example, you just shoot the, the eyes and uh, she goes down. Uh, the split stuff, not the split stuff, the, the feather... The regular run, or you know, the non-featherless run, uh, uses uh, a, another setup as well. But that's just uh, because feathers are very broken. <laughs> okay. And that should be uh, it for the Levius so Akabe. Five, what am I, what, what is going on? I don't know what I did there. Okay, that should be it. We're just gonna finish it right here. Right on. We're gonna switch to uh, our friend the Brute to make it faster. We're gonna get that. We're gonna get that and that. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, we got, we got an axe, that's really good. That's not what we want. So we're gonna equip it for the next boss. Nice. Okay, so there's some, uh, uh, you know, waiting for the next mission and also running around. So we have time. Fantastic. I can talk about uh, a few of the prizes that we have in store here. Okay, so uh, again, as I mentioned uh, earlier in this run, uh, if you manage to donate a cumulative amount of either $25 or $35, then you will be able to enter the draw for a ViewSonic monitor. We currently have two ready to be given out by the at the end of the event. And uh, yeah, if you, again, if you donate a minimum of $25, you'll be in one draw. If you donate a minimum of $35, you'll be in both draws. So if you want to get those donations in for a very cheap monitor, then uh, yeah, I wholeheartedly encourage you to do so. Also, at the same time, don't forget, we still have some incentives going on. Uh, so far, the language choice has been unaffected. Still English leading over Japanese by five dollars. Uh, the Take the Stairs incentive still needs seventy-five dollars to be met. So if you want to go the scenic route and take the stairs, or perhaps uh, change up the standings in the language incentive, by all means keep those donations coming and get yourself in with a chance to win a lovely monitor. Back to you, Axel. All right, so I just buff with Carnage in order to uh, make sure that I one-shot uh, this rock with uh, the skill that we got earlier with uh, Morning Moon for this sword. And while we wait for this thing to pop, I'm gonna use the Limited Crystal. We don't really need to wait too much, but you know, we were low on key from all the dashing and, uh, you know, it's good to, to use it. Another good thing about the Kasha, by the way, the Kasha Soul Core, apart from applying fire and deal good damage and all that stuff, is that, uh, the, that uh, the Kasha Soul Core gives you a uh, speed buff for uh, when you absorb and return. So whenever that happens, uh, we are a bit faster. Quite a bit faster. So that's pretty nice. We're gonna do it again. All right. We're gonna get uh, a Scampus that is uh, right next to this place. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm updating my accessories. It's not super important, but you know, 
Uh, anything that you can do on downtime that can help you a little bit is good. Um, the main reason why I pop the the um, the crystals right there is because of this. This place is really dangerous, so I just pop Yokai Shift in order to break this really quickly. Otherwise, I could just die before I I get to do Morning Moon. All right. So before uh, before we level up here, we're gonna use another one and level up all in heart to get more key in order to be able to attack even more uh we're gonna upgrade our kasha and yatsunokami to the newer versions and we're gonna get another neko-chan another cat all right that's good so i'm, I'm not gonna explain what i get on the shifling uh, tree but it's gonna it's kind of weird it's basically uh what I'm mainly getting is uh, more key recovery on Dark Realm uh, and uh, and getting more anima back when using a, a Yokai skill. Anyways, here's Tokichiro too. Let's see what he has in store. Okay, this is not, okay. He can follow up uh, that attack with a. Okay, I was this this was not supposed to be. Uh, this, uh, I'll just use this. Yeah, I was supposed to use water here. It's okay, bro. It's alright. Uh, it actually worked out fine. Huh. So, as you can see, the cats are quite helpful here. They are attacking the boss quite a lot, chipping away his HP and also his key, so it's really useful. That's Tokichiro uh, 2. And now we're going to switch to uh, the best uh, space that we got, which is the one that we bought. So we got kind of unlucky right there. Buff with Purity, and we're going to buff with uh, Carnage. And this is the one of the most dangerous bosses in the run. Uh, it is very possible to just keep death cycling here in a run quite easily. But we're gonna try to pull through. Okay, so far, good start. So far, good start. The main reason why he's so dangerous is because he doesn't really give you uh, much of a much time to punish him. Oh yeah, that, that was perfect. That was so good. That was so good. That was so good. Okay, we're gonna buff again. Use Kasha and pop Yokai Shift. I'm gonna charge it. You know, every time that you charge with a fully charged. Uh, Strong attack from the Jokai shift. You stagger the the boss unless it's doing a burst counter attack or something like that. Okay, that was perfect. That was perfect, Kashin Koji. I'm really really happy with that. That was pretty much perfect, Kashin Koji. Okay, we're gonna change to the axe. That was so good. That was really really good. Okay, so uh, as far as the any percent or you know the main game is concerned, there are two bosses left. Uh, one region in two bosses. Uh, that's uh, the first one you're gonna be very very familiar uh, with, uh, even if you have only played uh, Neo One or you know if you have only seen the the, the Run Gala bit uh, on Wednesday. Well, maybe the different day depending on where you live but yeah um the next boss is going to be william for which uh, should i try to okay normally i don't do this but i'm gonna try 
to do the deathless strat. Normally, you would just buff with uh, Carnage at the start and make him kill you. And then uh, afterwards, you actually have time to buff. You buff with Carnage in order to, you know, reduce your, uh, your defense. Um, because he just charges at you at the start, you, it doesn't give you time to, to really buff or prep the fight. So you, you kind of want to do that and then prep the fight uh, after dying. But now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to not do that. Uh, it is very rough to do properly. So if I fail, it's okay. Uh, you know I can still pull off the, the strat. But uh, you know, if I do it, then it's gonna be very combo the hypers, combo hype, yeah. Okay, so it's it's just this boss fight. There's no running around or anything. It's just uh, the boss. Oh, oh. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we can buff a little bit. I messed it up a little bit at the start, honestly. Um, okay, this should be good. I'm getting, da I'm getting damaged by the by the spirit attack. Ooh, that's very dangerous. That's the flowing shadow. Yeah. So yeah, like basically when you don't do the the strat of like dying at the start, you're you're way way more uh, prone to just dying on the middle of the fight. So that's kind of why you don't do that. But you know, since the run has not really gone very badly, it has only gone badly at, uh, at one point. I wanted to try it out. All right. There we go. I'm gonna use this and that, and that I have more. And now he should be done. Yeah, there we go. That's William. Okay. Did not get the split stuff. But that's alright. Alright. Okay, so all that's left for the main game is uh, one more mission, and after that we're going to the DLCs. We have a bit of time. Fantastic. I was going to ask, because we have a few donations that have come in. And uh, yeah, things are getting exciting on the donation incentive front, so let's read those out. $25 from SK have come in with no comment, but they are going towards the language choice English, which is now leading by $30. We also have another $15 from Arthorius saying, Axel, you're doing great, and is putting in your emote, Axel Sao Bao. Great game, <laughs> great runner, perfect recipe for disaster. And perfect recipe for some incredibly generous donations, Arthorius. We also have a $35 and 40 cent donation by Librarian saying, thank you to the organizers and runners for doing these events. And a question to Axel, which weapon type is your favorite to play with? That money is going towards the Japanese language. And if I refresh here, I can tell you, uh, yeah, Japanese is leading by $5 and 40 cents. So thank you all for your incredibly generous donations. Uh, the donation, the question one more time for Axel, uh, which weapon time is your favorite to play with? All right, so uh, honestly, I like a, a quite a few weapons. Uh, I, I mostly play with wolf swords uh, when, when I'm playing casually. Um, but I also like uh, this uh, split stuff. Uh, I've I've grown to like uh, the, the axe as well a lot uh, by running this game. Uh, Switch Glaive is also very fun. 
the only the only weapons that I'm not really fond of is uh, Kusarigama and, uh, and hatchets, just because they don't really match my playstyle. But yeah, I would say my favorite one is dual swords. All right, so this is uh, Otakemaru, the the final boss of the main game. Funnily enough, uh, if you saw the Ugume, the, like the enemy that was streaming right before entering the the area prior to this uh, boss room, uh, that bo uh, that enemy you, you used to have to fight on all patch, but then they they decided to change it. Um, uh, I think it was uh, after the second DLC. Oh come on, don't mean like that, Nakamaru. So as you can see, Otakamaru has access to all Yokai shifts. He's a, he's a full Yokai. He's like a, the strongest Yokai ever, or something. Um, so you know, he's very very powerful Yokai. Oh, okay. Cool. So yeah, I can I ha I gotta I can't explain what I'm doing exactly, honestly. Because uh, I'm just, I have to adapt really, really quickly to what uh, the boss is doing. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll just do this. All right, let's see. So depending on the situation, you know, you want some attacks or another. Uh, you, you want to use some attacks or, or others. Let me rebuff again because I, I haven't gotten like the best uh, RNG. To be honest, ah, uh, that was too early. I thought it was too early. Okay, I'm gonna use the snake here. Okay, Snake betrayed me. Thank you, Snake. Snake! Okay, so I could use Yokai ship here, but uh, uh, I don't really need it. Uh, okay, I'll just use it, whatever. Yeah, that attack had a lot of um, waiting around, so I just went with that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Here. I'm updating my uh, my equipment in order to to be as ready as possible for for the DLC. And um, I would like to know my any percent time uh, after after the stream goes black. Uh, then we'll do the DLCs. But I would like to know it just uh, just for curiosity. Just let me know when to make a reading, and uh, I'll tell you shortly after. Okay? Uh, it'll be it right now. Okay. So you want me to tell you the time right now? Yeah. Uh, it is two hours forty something seconds. Okay. Um, yeah, I was a bit slow. I guess uh, I shouldn't have messed up with uh, messed around with uh, William too much. But you know, it's it's about uh, average. Um, my PB, uh, my RTA PB for for any percent is uh, sub one fifty. It's still you know could improve it for over five minutes, but. You know, there's a lot of things that can happen in this game, so it is kind of normal to have around this time. And the DLC should be around to 40 to 50 minutes if it doesn't go too bad. Uh, but yeah, we're entering the, the DLC right now. Tango's Discipline. But yeah, as, as I mentioned um, earlier in the run, there's a lot of uh, optimizing left to do since the game is so recent. Or not the game, like the, and the full thing with the DLCs and all the stuff. Uh, the latest like uh, balancing patch came like less than a month ago. So yeah. 
there's a, a lot of things to to do still. Anyways, while we uh, get this place, well, while we, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. While we do that, we we get the, that uh, anima from the from the red spider lady, Lily. It's gonna be uh, very useful for this next boss. And um, there's more reading around if you have anything to to read. Uh, running around. <laughs> yeah, running around. That's fine. <laughs> Well, uh, I can talk a little bit more, uh, once again, about the Take the Stairs incentive. So, in comparison to the original Final Fantasy VII, uh, taking the stairs is actually slower compared to the original and compared to taking the elevator in the remake. So, normal runs would take the elevator. But, with 75 more dollars attributed to this donation incentive, you guys can ensure that the stairs are taken. And I've heard they have some really hilarious dialogue. So uh, go ahead and give Cloud a leg day by getting those donations in for uh, these, uh, for the Take the Stairs incentive. Uh, the language choice again, Japanese leading with uh, $5.40 over English and French is uh, $250 behind second place. So I don't know if you want to tip the scales in any direction, but you really have less than an hour to do so. So, you know, get those donations in. If you want to see any of those languages, take the lead. But yeah, back to you, Axel. Okay, so we're right at the door of uh, the next boss, which is uh, called the Mysterious Monk in, in, uh, in the boss name, but it's actually called the Benke. Which is a uh, quite a uh, notorious figure in Japanese history, actually. Okay, it's gonna do that. Should be able to punish this pretty well. Oh, that was too early, too early. Yeah, I, I, I messed it up. I went too early on that one. Uh. Okay. The, the adrenaline makes me think the time is uh, going faster than it actually is. All right, let's let's try that again. a bit unfortunate. Try dodging, but uh, it's kind of hard when the when the camera is so close to you, when you are right next to the wall. Uh, it's uh, it's really hard to know exactly what's your situation. Ah, uh, let's see if that doesn't happen again. Come on. It's not a particularly hard boss, it's just I've been a bit uh, unlucky in this. Oh. Man, he's just doing combos now. He's been a fancy. There we go. Okay, now the strat is going on. Gonna cut that a little bit short. Do that. I stand so strong. Uh, light attacks. Uh, that's not great. Uh, yeah, I was just slightly too slow right there. Slightly too slow to do the setup. Be good. Now, there we go. Mm 
Well, okay, what? Damn, <laughs> my controller did not like that. That moment right there. It just started vibrating way more than for a longer time than I normally normally goes. All right, let's go. So that's Benke. Ah, that's Benke. It wasn't a perfect fight. I would have liked to show uh, the actual um, setup for the last part of the fight, but you know, it's fine. Okay, so the next boss is going to be uh, Umi Yudo, Umi Yudo, which is uh, kind of like the step up evolution uh, of uh, Umi Bozu that you saw in Neo One. It's a stronger version. Uh, I would say um, it's more dangerous in Neo One Umi Bozu. By the way, this is a giant enemy corrupt. You, know, you can see them in the uh, books of uh, Japanese history. They're just out there. All right, prepare this as well. Okay. All right. So in about 30 seconds, we're gonna be fighting the uh, Umi Judo. If everything goes well, uh, when he steps up the, of the water, he won't step up, uh, step uh, in the water again. So we'll see. Okay, a good thing, uh, a good thing, and uh, one of the reasons why uh, this might be a bit easier than Umibozu from Neo One is that uh, you cannot fall in the water. In Neo One, you can, you could actually fall into the water. Uh, on the Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if I was able to do it or not. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some dragon dance here. That's good. Okay, now we're gonna use Kasha lock on of Jokai shift. Some charge attacks. Asha again. There we go. There we go. Not perfect, but uh, pretty good actually. Nice, so this next mission is actually has a lot of running around, so you have quite a bit of time to, to read stuff. Oh, really nice, because I just had a donation come in. It's $40 from Mattis with no comment, but it's an incredibly generous donation. And it's going to the Take the Stairs incentive, which now sets completion a mere stone's throw away. $35 is what we need to complete that incentive, and so we can take the stairs and have a lovely leg day over at the Final Fantasy VII Remake run. It'll be a, a bit late for some, but trust me, it'll be all worth it. So it's $35 to get that done. It's essentially, at this point, just two tickets to two prize draws for two view sonic monitors so you don't want to miss that chance so get that donation in let's close that gap and take the stairs back to you axel all right yeah there's, there's more running around so like uh i mean i guess i can explain more stuff uh first of all i forgot to switch to the sword well i didn't forget i just messed it up a little bit more uh I, like i switch uh back to the other weapon again by accident there's these crystals right here that you can just dash past or you know dash through rather and uh, they will give you uh, both anima and amrita so going through them is pretty nice 
So like right here, I, I already have the Jokai Shift ready and the full Anima Bar. I don't need to set up anything else for the boss. But yeah, there's another skip that, you know, of uh, those that uh, where you drop from a really high, um, very high altitude if you have enough HP or if you have any ninjutsu for it. But yeah, I already explained why we cannot do them. Um, it doesn't really save that much time. Anyways. There's another giant enemy crab. Very typical from the area. And right here coming up, there's um there's an NPC that you're supposed to help, but uh, the game doesn't require you to. So, yeah, this is Minamoto no Yusitsune, by the way. It doesn't require you to help him, so we just dash past it. And eventually he just catches up to us uh, after we rest at the shrine before the boss. Which is... Surprise, surprise, the boss is Minamoto no Yusitsune. How? You you won't see it because there's a cutscene uh, that we are gonna skip. But yeah, that's uh, that's how it is. It basically uh, gets kind of crazed by, by I don't know I forgot. There's it's been so long since I last saw the cutscene, but I remember like uh, it gets crazed by something. Any lore masters in chat can can explain that? I appreciate it. But anyways, uh, remember the, the thing that I said that there was going to change on the DLCs? We're going to do it right now. So we do not need uh, the, the fire talisman or the lightning talisman anymore. So we're going to put lightning stop and barrier talisman. Lightning stop is not going to be uh, useful right now, but later on it's going to be very obvious why we use it uh, on the next DLC. So yeah, we're gonna buff here. Uh, Barrier Talisman is like the Kekai from Neo 1. It's basically just translated. Um, and it allows you to recover more key more rapidly. And it becomes more uh, more useful in at this point. Fights get a bit uh, concerning without them, especially a couple of them. So right now, on Minamoto no Shitsune, it's a very fast, very fast boss. We really want to to break his key in order to to get any any actual damage going on. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, good. Oh, what? I felt the cables. I think. Okay, we're gonna buff. Like I said, rebuffing is important in some parts. Okay, I cannot uh, really punish this because it's just coming back. Alright, we're gonna dodge that because I don't have enough to counter it. Uh, such. Alright, uh, this is not going very well. It's okay, we can uh, we can fix it. We can definitely fix it. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna pop uh Jokai Shift right here. I'm gonna try to get the most of it. By that I mean not get hit like I did right now. So I didn't explain it, uh, but one of the main advantages of uh, Yokai Shift is that it allows you to, to use um, Yokai skills way more often. It has an independent uh, uh, Yokai skill bar to your own uh, Yokai I mean, uh, anima bar. Come on. Okay, this is over. There we go, GG. So that's one of the hardest bosses, uh, but uh, 
you know, it's also one of the bosses that I like the most on the game. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm very used to fighting him. There's only, like, a couple of things that do can really, really mess me up. So that was uh, the first DLC. Now we're going to the second DLC. Which uh, will have three main missions. And some of the... Uh, like, the, the first two bosses are going to be the hardest ones of the, the second DLC. And, you know, hopefully not a lot of memes happen. But yeah, we're going there. Darkness in the capital. Uh, the boss comes out, uh, like, it uh, comes uh, very early. So, so we do not have uh, much time. Uh, but after the boss, uh, we'll have quite a bit of time. Like this, this mission is quite short. Uh, it's like you start the mission and in, 10, in 20 seconds you're already at the boss door. Mm -mm. Okay, so I got one thing that I didn't explain. Uh, at the start of the DLCs on the first missions, you get a... Uh, uh, like, you go backwards in time. This is actually backwards in time. Okay, this is 900 something, I think. And uh, you you kind of uh, exit a portal that will lock you in place for a few seconds. But uh, you can actually... Uh, I haven't been able to do it consistently, but you can actually just get one dash in before it locks you into position. So I managed to do that, that was pretty nice. Okay, yeah, that's that's why this boss is very dangerous. That's the main reason why. She can... Uh, yeah, this is Minamoto Yorimitsu, uh, the, the one that Artorius was talking about. Uh, she's very fast, and pretty much all her attacks have hyper armor. So you need to really uh, get in there right after an attack is going uh, has happened. Because otherwise, you might be too late and she might have started another attack and then you just suffer. Come on. It is possible to do this uh, this fight with, a, with the axe. I had the strat with the axe, but um, it is very... No, that's not good. Yeah, that's... Uh, I was thinking about doing it earlier. I, I did it in a bad time. That grab uh, is very, very deadly. Pretty sure that's uh, the most damaging attack that she can do. So yeah, uh, she's one of the most dangerous bosses in the whole game. Let's see if I can get her second try. Hmm. <clears throat> It was basically just a really bad timing on that um, Kasha, on my end. Okay, so this is like a free punish when she summons that, and that. Although, you know, sometimes she decides to not get very much punished at all. Ah, oh, that was a bit dangerous. Tried to do one thing, but I was not in the right position for that. No, oh, okay, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. So we're gonna try to get in hits. This is like the... Living weapon that William had. So basically, she has hyper armor all the time. So, yeah. Very, very dangerous.
Yeah, this fight is not going well. Hopefully I can actually... Finish it. There we go. Oh, uh, sorry, that was like... Me I messed up a few times. It's very, very rough to, to do it well. Okay, we're gonna switch... Uh, to this split stuff right here. There's several reasons why. I was playing it later. No. Okay, so we're we're on to the second mission of the second DLC, and uh, we have time for reading. Yeah, I have quite some great news here. Uh, after a thirty-five dollar donation by Shadow Invictus, going. The Final Fantasy VII Remake was one of my favorite games of last year. Looking forward to seeing what the speedrun entails. I took the stairs in my original playthrough and there are some great lines, so this donation goes to making sure we get to see that incentive and extend ESA just a little bit. And may I say that donation went straight to the Take the Stairs incentive, so Shadow Invictus, besides entering yourselves in both View Sonic Monitor draws, you have also made sure the Take the Stairs incentive has been met. So yeah, that is super exciting, and uh, a little surprise that now the donation total for that incentive uh, is $750 and 69 cents. I, I'm, I can't see Chad, but I'm sure everybody's going nice right about now. But, yeah, thank you for your generous donation. Hope you win the monitors. And, yeah, we'll be taking the stairs. Right back at you, Axel. Yeah, that, that is a very nice number. Um, let's see. So we leveled up a little bit. Uh, this upcoming boss is uh, very concerning. Uh, also, if you don't like uh, spiders, then you might not like this boss as well. It's a... Uh, Suchigumo, um, which is basically like a, a giant human spider or humanoid spider. And we're gonna fight it, fight the spider in like 10 seconds. Let's see if I get a uh, decent RNG here. Okay. So right at the start of the fight, we're just gonna block. We're gonna, well, we're gonna block a, bit, a little bit and then block. And we're gonna pop the right there. The... Okay. Okay. So basically, what we did right there um, is. Uh, We broke the, the crystal that he has on its back, right? Like you saw it right now. You see the crystal? I broke it again. Let's see, come on. Come on, do it, do it. Now, perfect. Go, 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 go. There we go. That was really good. Nice, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. That was very good. So, breaking the, the crystal on the back makes the the boss fight quite quite easier uh it gives uh, it gives you more time to punish things it's less aggressive as well so it's very important to to pop that uh, crystal on the back all right that's very nice so in this next uh, mission there's three bosses actually and it's gonna be like a, a minute before I get to the first boss. If you'd like to say anything else. Well, I could very quickly glance over where can we go from here now that we are taking the stairs officially. Well, we still have the bonus game, Wacky World of Miniature Golf Cutscene Percent Run, uh, which is gonna be run by Big John if we raise $5,000. That has remained stationary since last time I mentioned it. It's at $1,458 out of 5000 So we have quite a ways to go, and this gap is not going to close itself, so get those donations in. Uh, more uh, closer, to, in a more closer future, 
we still have the language incentive from the Final Fantasy VII Remake run, and that has also stayed at Japanese in first with 255.4, English in second with $250 flat, and French with just flat. No, no money. There's no money on the French language. So yeah, you, I'm sure you want to bolster the chances of any one of these languages, so yeah. Keep those donations coming, and don't forget, $25 gets you in one view Sonic monitor draw, $35 will get you in on both draws that are happening uh, right after this event finishes. So yeah, you don't want to miss those opportunities, and get those, uh, get those donations in. Axel, right back to you. Alright, uh, so we're about to fight the boss in like 20 seconds, or less, and... This next boss is, uh, you're also gonna be very familiar with it. Uh, we saw Galan's run uh, this Wednesday. And uh, it is uh, the White Tiger. Uh, it's uh, slightly different. Um, and, you know, obviously it's uh, it has all the new stuff that uh, Neo 2 introduces. And it is quite finicky. We're gonna try to, uh, to get it as best as possible, but... Um, I won't promise anything. Okay. Do this. Come on. Okay, there. There we go. Good, good, good. Come on. Now we're gonna uh, mud spinner. Don't get away. Don't get away. Don't get away. Kasha. Mud spinner again. Okay, it wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna use this. GG. Normally I wouldn't have to use a, 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 a Yokai skill at the end. But I, I felt kinda obliged to because it didn't... Like, it kinda avoided some attacks from the Mad Spinner. But that was pretty nice. So yeah, that's the power of uh, combining both the power of Kasha and Mad Spinner. Very, very powerful. So the reason why I took that shrine is not really because of it is a peach shrine that I took uh, for safety or anything like that. Although it kinda is. It's mainly because um, in this upcoming uh, room uh, that I'm going to go through uh, shortly, there's uh, there's some enemies that can uh, really that can kill me if I don't uh, set up. Uh, Okay, there we go, this place. So I was looking for that guy right there, the one that is standing right there. I wanted to avoid him at all costs, because he can one-shot me at the door. Sometimes, I don't know what, what exactly is, uh, what determines the position, but um, anyways, if, if I do rest at the shrine, it will, uh, it will be standing still, either on the left or the right. So I, I had to check where it was. Okay, and this is uh, Noe, by the way, right on, happy little Noe, from Neo 1 as well. Okay, and we get this shrine. So yeah, you don't need to fight Noe, you, you can just uh, run past it. And now we're gonna start using the, the Lightning Stop Talisman for these uh, upcoming bosses. Uh, there are two in a row, but if you die on the second one, you don't need to fight the, the previous one. So are independent bosses. The first one should be pretty easy, but uh, it can still be a uh, meme fool. So we'll see what happens. Okay, not the usual start, but it's okay. Okay, should be good. He likes that attack, huh? It's, it's really weird how he didn't do the burst counter attack at all. That's weird. He always does it. Anyway, you didn't see the, the mega laser of death. Uh, but that's alright. Uh, 
Main reason why we equip uh, Lining Stop Talismans. She is all about Lining. As you can see, everything she does uh, just linings everywhere. I'm gonna pop uh, right here the Kasha, Soul Core. Ah, come on. I'm gonna try to do some mat spinning. It was not uh, super fortunate, but it's okay. It's, uh, it's quite rough to, to get there. Uh, with a full mud spinner. Okay, she's gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Uh, okay, come on. She spam she spams those attacks a lot. No, oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. She decided to do the dash attack where she just teleports with lining. And she decided to do it on a wall, so everything happened in, in the same spot. That was fun. Let's do it again. No, not that. Okay, can just do it again. I'm just used to use water on that point. Okay, let's see if we can uh, we can get a better fight. Start with heaven and earth as usual. Okay, that was not great. Yeah. Come on, do this. There we go. Oh, come on. See what I mean? Where? Ah, that was not good. I'm gonna use this again, I'm gonna rip off. Gonna mess up the, the setting, I mean, the setup. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Not a bit unfortunate with that, but uh, it's alright. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Go forward. And now we're on to the last DLC. Uh, no. So we have a bit of time for reading. Certainly. Uh, well, I can talk a little bit more about uh, Alzheimer Fonden and Alzheimer's as a whole. Uh, Alzheimer's is a progressive disease where dementia symptoms gradually worsen over several years. In its early stages, memory loss is mild, but with late-stage Alzheimer's, individuals lose the ability to carry on a conversation and respond to their environment. Uh, Alzheimer Fonden's aim and purpose is to increase fundraising to the benefit of scientific research in order to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. So by all means, uh, get those donations in so we can raise money for an incredible cause. And when you do, you can uh, use them for a myriad of different donation incentives. I will press for the language choice incentive because um, we have to shut down that incentive at the end of the run. Uh, well, this run, that is. And how much time do we have for this run, Axel? Um, about 15 minutes or so. 
Well, yeah, you heard the you heard Axel. Get those donations in. You really don't have much time. This could be your last chance. So yeah, wholeheartedly encourage you to do so. Back to you, Axel. All right, so we're into the last DLC. Uh, this could give you like 15 or 20 minutes or something. It depends on how it goes. Uh, and the first boss we're, we're gonna fight is actually another version of uh, Otakemaru. We're gonna get the Soul Core box. And Soul Core box is very important for this last part. Uh, Bosses, uh, some bosses are like really, really, really rough. Like they get a lot of HP, and uh, some setups really require something else. So Soul Core Box helps in a way where you can use the Jokai uh, skill even with what? 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 What are you doing here? Go. Home. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. Uh, set a shortcut. We we'll put it here. Okay. So yeah, soul core box. Um, it allows you to use the uh, yokai uh, skills without having enough yokai. Uh, I mean anima, uh, which is the purple bar. Uh, forgot to mention probably. And that basically means that uh, we're gonna be able to use the soul cores, I mean the soul skills more. But it has a down, uh, it has a, a bad thing, which is not that bad if you consider that you just get the, that for free, pretty much. Is that uh, if you do that, if you use that property of the soul core box, you will not be able to regain anima for a while, depending on how much. Uh, how much of the soul core box uh, property you used? Also, I was supposed to uh, to buff uh, right here, not uh, there. I'm gonna just rebuff. Okay. I wanna start with two of these ones, then get away from that. Okay, this is good. Let's see if I can set up this properly. Ah, uh, that's bad. Ah, uh, come on. Unfortunate. I wanted to dash away right there, but uh, it, it just clipped me right before I did it. So yeah, that's uh, another reason why I took the, the shortcut. Another reason why I took the shortcut, apart from this, is because uh, the enemies just really follow you around and I wanted to make um, uh, at least one of them uh, to follow me down so the Nupepo, which was the, the enemy that uh, that went down fell for it making, uh, making me more able to, to buff beforehand anyways, we don't have this campus now so this is gonna be a bit harder but it should be okay So as you can see, uh, Otakemaru right here, he doesn't stay long for on the same spot without attacking, for the most part. So that's why uh, it's kind of necessary to... There we go. Nice, 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 nice. That's good. There we go, nice, nice, nice. nice. That, that, that second fight went much better. I was saying something, for, sorry, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, so this, uh, these barrels right here uh, give you the same property pretty much as uh, the Kekai Talisman or like Barrier Talisman. Uh, 
uh, making making you recover key way faster. So that's very nice. So there's another boss on this mission, uh, which is gonna be dealt with uh, a bit differently uh, and more similarly to uh, how the cat was handled. You know, the, the white tiger. Uh, but it is also much harder to to set up. So hopefully everything will go right. But if not, it's okay. We're we're not too far away from the boss, and we're we we haven't used any any extra uh, items for the anima. So we are good for backup anima items. Okay, let's. Uh, Get the demon axe. Uh, that's gonna be the the last time that we switch weapons. We're gonna use the axe uh, for the rest of the run, which is this boss, and then the, the next main mission, which is the last main mission. And uh, let's see if I do this properly. Another nerf. Watch that. Boy, ah, uh, okay. Too early. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna do it again. Nothing nothing really changed. Uh Axel, uh we have some very big donations coming in, so whenever we have another gap in commentary, yeah, just let me know, okay? okay? Uh, right after this boss. Fantastic. that it's that and that come on there's one more I need to uh, I need to uh, I need a bit more okay that was what okay that should be good okay good 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 we have the setup I don't have carnage at the moment but it should be all right. I think. We can finish this with uh, with the Jokai shift. I was lacking damage because I, I wasn't able to rebuff beforehand. But it's all right. We can finish this. There we go. Oh, okay. So yeah, next up is just the, the last main mission. The last mission. So you can uh, you can reel away. Fantastic. That's quite a few donations coming in that pushed us over thirty six thousand dollars. That's yeah. A round of applause to everybody for their incredible generosity. And my God, it is quite generous. We have a hundred dollars by Catbus saying. Glad to be donating for a great cause. Donating for the English language incentive for awesome quotable lines. Good luck, Roy Zoga. We then have $300 by Damn. Tiny Tim, our very own Tiny Tim, saying, Hey all, did someone ask for French? Cheers. And that $300 oh. is all going to the French language. And we also have a hundred dollars from Anonymous saying, "Way to go, Axel! We're all rooting for you." And uh, yeah, three different donations, three different languages. These are going to. Uh, we also have another donation for a hundred dollars, but we'll read that uh, during the next run. So we're just kind of holding that on the back burner. So hold on, and you will see that as well. But as an update to the language selection incentive. French is surprisingly still last with $300. Japanese has snapped back to second with 355.4. And finally, uh, English is taking the lead once again and extending it with $450. It is really heating up here. And this is effectively the last few minutes before you can before we have to shut the incentive, so any last donations, any last hurrahs, there uh, you need to do them now. 
But yeah, thank you all for your incredible generosity and keep those donations coming. Back to you, Axel. All right. So we just went past uh, <laughs> uh, an enemy that literally, if you if you actually trigger, uh, you know, if you aggro him, it, it will it will say uh, no one will pass me or something like that, and you just ignore him and just run past him. It's very funny. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so before the last boss, we're gonna have to fight two enemies. Two quite strong enemies, especially the first one, uh, which is really the main reason why I popped the, the, the Amrita in order to get the Yokai shift ready. And we're going to level up right before them as well. And uh, yeah, uh, the first enemy is going to be uh, very rough if uh, things go south. So hopefully that won't happen. Uh, what's my time right now? The time currently reads 2 hours, 48 minutes, and 25 seconds. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good. As long as uh, nothing uh, terrible happens, then uh, we're good. Should be done in less than 5 minutes, I think. Alright, so we're going through that... Uh, so the main reason why we have to fight this, uh, these enemies is because they, they hold two keys that we need to, in order to get access to to the elevator that leaves us uh, to the area before the last walls. So yeah, this uh, this first enemy of the two is uh, on Gyoki. It is very, very powerful, fast and dangerous. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to... Okay, started good. I'm gonna use this, uh, and hopefully I can I can pin him right there. Okay, we're gonna pop Yokai shift. This is why I pop Yokai shift. Okay, there we go. Good, good, good. Okay, so we've got past the last uh, really difficult part of the of the run, I would say. And now we're going to the next one, which, uh, if I do things properly, should always be the same way. So we got the... I think... I don't know if it was the Ungyo or the Angyo key. But yeah, it's one of the two. Now we're going after the the other enemy that holds uh, the other one. Also, I'm using the travel ambulance that we picked up uh, near the start of the run in this uh, in this part. Since it's much, much faster to use those. Okay. Let's use this. Mmm, that's not... Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I meant. It's normally always does the same thing, but I guess I, I didn't do it properly. If you approach her uh, the, the proper way, um, she'll always do uh, one burst counter attack. And then after that, the, the fight is pretty much GG. So let's try to do that again. I have uh, a, a couple, of few, a few more donations to pass the time until we get there. Do you have uh, a moment? Mm, right after, right after the fit in it, or or if I die again, right after. Okay. Okay. So heaven and earth. There we go, that's the burst counter. And now we're gonna do this. We're gonna spin to win, as we're doing lately. And then use the snake. And finish the fight, just like that. All right, so now we have a little bit of time. Okay, I'll try and speed through these then. We have $100 from Mintopia saying, donation goes to English for FF7 Remake because life's a stage and loves the play. Uh, oops, I should have read this one once the run has started, but I will hold it and we'll read it again once that happens. And yes, it does go towards English, like that other donation that's meant to be held. Uh, we also have $20 by Orania saying French or Riot. And another $151 from Anonymous saying, I don't even understand French, but I do love a good underdog story. 
So yeah, English currently is at $5.50 and French is at $4.51. $99 between them. <laughs> Last few chances here, so it's it's really heating up. So keep those donations coming. Back to you, Axel. All right, so we just uh, entered the, the boss fight. And this is uh, what we're like, I, I like calling uh, Centaur Maru, which is Nightmare Bringer. Also, I messed up a bit uh, my inputs on the lock on. Uh, Nightmare Bringer uh, is immune to any elemental debuffs apart from uh, purity and corruption. So we we are not gonna use Kasha for for him. We're gonna use just the snake since it's a uh, physical damage mainly. Okay. So let's uh, rebuff. I'm gonna do this actually first. And this. Let's go. Spin to win. Hope that. Jokai shift. Dodge, please. Okay, dodge, another uh, Jatsu no Kami, and this should be over in just a few minutes, I mean a few seconds, sorry. There we go. And I'll, I'll say when time is coming, uh, it is not right after this, it, uh, it is, uh, well, I'll, I'll just say it. <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing that we need to fight. Now we just need to dash to the shrine real quickly, and uh, time will will end in three, two, one, time. What was the the time? What was the final time? The final time is, well, let's wait for the timer to freeze. Two hours, 54 minutes, 41 seconds. Yeah, that's, I would say that's about average <laughs> of what I am doing now, lately. Very good, uh, very good. GG's. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm going to check how many deaths I got. 15. Yeah, actually, that was, those deaths are below average deaths. Yeah. On my PV, I have like 10. So, yeah, that's... It's pretty nice. Well done, well done. So before I uh, I go, I guess I'll, I'll do a shout out to uh, the people who, who helped me uh, a little bit. I, I mainly just did 99% uh, of the rod myself. Uh, but uh, you know, some people really helped me from the Neo community and also the Neo speedruns community. Um, shout outs to, to Puffer Lama, shout out. Uh, to Sergeant Silent, um, many other people as well. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna forget uh, more. <laughs> I'm gonna forget all the people, but uh, yeah, uh, some tricks I was not able to to develop myself, uh, and it really helped. So, shout out to them. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, just a couple final things before we hit the intermission. Uh, $35 by Rogan says, great cause as always, take my money. Also, need to hear FF7 in Japanese. And yes, it was a valiant effort, and you have entered yourself in the ViewSonic draws, but it was too little too late. The language incentive has been shut, and so we'll be playing FF7 Remake in English. So yeah, thank you all for your incredibly generous donations right in the nick of time. Uh, but... Uh, after a quick intermission, we will be uh, going into FF7 Remake. That was all donation reading from me. Uh, you'll be uh, Ashwin will be taking over just for the next run, along with uh, Bradderfield. But you can catch me at the end of the marathon with the very last run. But until then, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, just a quick intermission. We will be right back with FF7 Remake.